All right, guys, pop quiz. Of these two thumbnails, which one would you click on? What about these two? What about these two? I can probably already guess your answer because I have a cheat in YouTube that lets me do A-B thumbnail testing. And so I know which thumbnail versions are more clickable. If you wanna know if you agreed with most of the people on YouTube, stick around to the end of this video. But today I'm going to show you how to run this A-B test. It's amazing. It's through TubeBuddy. And if you don't know what TubeBuddy is yet, it is an extension on your browser that gives you extra insights into your performance on your YouTube videos and really helps you grow your channel. I've been talking about TubeBuddy for so long on this channel because it is truly the number one tool that has helped me grow here on YouTube. And the A-B testing is hands down my favorite feature. And they've actually just integrated it better with the YouTube analytics back end as opposed to on the TubeBuddy website. So I can't wait to show you how it works. Now, if you don't understand what A-B testing is, it is basically a research method where you give a crowd of people two different options and you see which option they choose more frequently. Now, I guess you could theoretically do this on your own by going into your YouTube studio and switching out thumbnails back and forth over a course of time and then going in and analyzing the click-through rate data day by day, but that's kind of a lot of work and TubeBuddy does the work for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to access these features, how they work and how to analyze the data. Let's hop on my computer and get right into it. Now to access the A-B testing on TubeBuddy, you do need to have what's called legend status. That is the highest tier available on TubeBuddy. And if you're not ready to make the jump to legend status, but you do wanna check out TubeBuddy, there's a free version of it. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles the other tiers have, but I will link to it down below so you can at least get started and see what TubeBuddy can do for you because really there's no reason not to check out at least the free version. So in YouTube Studio, you wanna head over to content content and select a specific video. And under the details tab here, you're gonna see this button here with the TubeBuddy logo and it says test alternate. Now again, you'll only see this button if you're on the legend status. Now, once you press this button, you get this pop-up window where it asks you what type of test you want to run. And your options are thumbnail, title, description, or tags. Now, if you try to select two of these, it will let you do it, but it does give you a warning that testing more than one aspect of a video makes it unclear exactly which change affected the results. So I would recommend just testing one element at a time. And honestly, I would test the thumbnail because that's like really the visual thing that people choose to click on. So I would definitely start with the thumbnail. As far as testing tags, YouTube does tell us that tags are not that important in searchability on YouTube. So I wouldn't even bother with that, to be honest with you. But if you're really into tags, then you might really like this feature. But let's just start with the thumbnail. So I'm gonna select thumbnail here and it's going to ask me how long I wanna run this test. So you can run it until it reaches statistical significance, which requires over a thousand views. You can run it for just 14 days or in this field, you can change however many days you want. And then it's gonna ask you when you wanna start and you can either start it on a schedule or as soon as possible. So the way that TubeBuddy works is that it changes your thumbnail out in 24 hour increments starting at midnight Pacific time, which is the native time at YouTube. So at midnight on the West Coast of the United States, it'll start running your new thumbnail for an entire day. And then the following day at midnight Pacific time, it will switch it back to the original. This next window is where you actually drop in your alternate thumbnail, and then you're going to hit start test. Now it does take a few days of running the test before you see any data at all about how each thumbnail is performing. If you wanna check on the data as the test is running, you can access that here in YouTube Studio by selecting a video in which you are running a test. And this time on the back end of the video details, you'll see this button here in the same spot as before where it says test in progress. When you click that button, it actually takes you off of YouTube onto the TubeBuddy website where you can access this information. I can see at the top here that I have nine cycles completed and I can see which thumbnail seems to be performing better. In this case right now, it is saying that the variation is performing slightly better, but I haven't yet reached a statistically significant measurement. So I'm gonna let this test keep going. 
Sometimes TubeBuddy gives you other insights as well. Like for instance, in this case, it says that although the variation gained more views during the course of this test, the original is actually performing better because it has a higher click-through rate. And the only reason the variation got more views is because it happened to get more impressions on YouTube during this time period. But people are actually clicking on the original more when it's displayed. So TubeBuddy's A-B testing definitely takes into account a lot of variables and makes me feel really confident in the results of these tests. I feel more in control of my channel and that I'm making informed decisions about my thumbnails, which are so important because I'm not just guessing what people wanna click on, I'm actually getting hard data that tells me what they wanna click on. So I really, really love this feature. Now there's a lot of other features on TubeBuddy that I've talked about many times that I just wanna run through for you real quick because they are worth mentioning. There is the keyword explore feature here on TubeBuddy, which helps me plan content on my channel. I don't make any videos unless TubeBuddy tells me that that title is really good for my audience and I can expect good performance on those videos. I also love being able to see where my tags are ranking in search on YouTube. So like I said, YouTube doesn't really consider tags super important uh, when it comes to searchability on your channel, but I do like to know where I'm falling when people are searching those exact terms on YouTube. So I find that information to be super helpful. I also love when I go on to someone else's channel and I can see a side-by-side -side comparison about how our channels are performing in general against each other. There's also this great checklist that makes sure that I'm doing all of my best practices when uploading content to YouTube. And of course the Tube Buddy app, which has a lot of the same features as the desktop version, but right there on your phone. My favorite part of the TubeBuddy app is the topic planner, which I use anytime an idea for my YouTube channel pops into my head. I can record it all in one spot in the TubeBuddy app so I never run out of ideas. So let's see if you guessed which thumbnails won the head-to-head -head contest with the AB testing on TubeBuddy. Between these two, it was this one. Between these two, it was this one. And between these two, it was that one. What did you guys think? Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments how you did. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again.